I am Diane von Furstenberg, and I will be the voice of Fazia Kufi from Afghanistan. A couple of months ago, the Taliban tried to assassinate me. For over an hour, a gun battle raged between them and my guard as I cowered inside my car, not knowing whether I would die or live. They've tried to kill me on several of the uh, previous occasions for the sole reason that I am a woman who speak out for human rights. And not just me, others like me also speak out. I'm Cheryl Sandberg, and I'm giving voice to more joy from Zambia. I'm the first of three children. My dad left mom for another woman, and mom could not afford my school fees. I'd see other girls hurrying off to school. I would think, those girls will have a better life than mine. I will remain a miserable, illiterate villager. What encouraged me was that mom went back to school. She was in the 10th grade when I was starting the first grade at the very same school. People used to laugh and make fun of her, but she did not care. Then, I was one of the 93 girls chosen by Room to Read. They gave me a uniform and a chance. Many other girls are pregnant and have dropped out of my school. I have told several boys who have made advances that I want to complete school and not be disturbed by any boy. <laughs> I want to be a lawyer so that I can help to bring law and order to disorganized communities. It will also be a way to show Room to Read and to show the world that they did not waste their resources on me. I'm Jane Harmon, and in a moment, I will give voice to Omazin Khalifa. All of my co-hosts tonight have talked about women, and so many here tonight in attending this summit have succeeded in breaking glass ceilings, only to discover they were really a thick layer of men. <laughs> but some of us have also benefited from enlightened men in our lives. One such, my late husband, Sidney, bought Newsweek two years ago to save it and had hoped to attend this amazing gathering last year just as he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I was in Tunis for the October election and saw determined women line up for hours in the sun, some veiled, some in modern dress, old and young. Omazine Khalifa was one of hundreds of female candidates for the Tunisian National Constituent Assembly. Though she lost, she said this in a recent blog. I remain optimistic. After years of women playing a prominent role in society, women's empowerment is deeply ingrained in our culture. And it's not just a female struggle. Many men are just as committed to gender equality. So let us take a moment to salute those many men, Sidney Harmon among them. <laughs> 